All right, I gotta make this quick, but this hose on the hob cap for the backhoe is leaking, so I gotta strip this off. So I gotta pull the control cover off here so I can get into the inside and take that hose off. I'm, I'm gonna get my tools ready, but basically, um, you can see right there, it's leaking out of here. This is all tight. So just this hose and this furrow fitting here is leaking or, or crimp fitting. Okay, so now that we got this just lifted out of the way, this is our hose here, right there. We got to pop off. You see, it feeds down and over and all the way to there. So once we crack this loose, oh, let's just make sure that this isn't locked. So this here, when that's pushed over and locked, gets the hydraulic flow through there. Just make sure that's unlocked so that nothing flows through. So we just got to break this loose, crack that off, good to go. Gotta go pop that off on the far side first. Should be loose enough to pass it by hand. Okay. And we're gonna lose a bunch of hydraulic oil. But not like the driveway doesn't need a little bit of oil on it to keep the dust down this summer. Uh, oh, good thing I got gloves on. All right. Okay, so we got the hose off here, ready to go off to Princess Auto to get it replaced. We're just going to Princess Auto because it's the closest to us. Um, other options for cam loops is new line hose and fitting. Uh, the prices on both those places are pretty close to the same. So just whatever's closest to you. Uh, we just usually, like I said, do Princess Auto because it's a lot closer to the farm. Um, and it's another half an hour up to new line. But they, if they got hard to find fittings, new line's place to go. But um, other thing to take note is when we took this off, or when I just took this off here anyways, on the, um, I made note that we could go an inch or two longer on this. So when they make it, if it's not to the exact, you know, like they're like, oh, it's three inches short of like two, three feet, then we'll just get it made to three feet, no big deal. Um, a lot of the other hoses on the front loader there, or on the arms, they need to be made exactly to that length, just with the way that the arm pivots side to side. Um, you could pinch or stretch the hoses if they're made any deviation to the length they are, or you could, like I said, rub that one, because we had one made and they made it an inch long and it's rubbing all the time, so. But anyways, off to Princess Auto. All right, so see we got our hydraulic hoses made here. Uh, the new one's the black end. So we got it made about, I don't know, three, four inches longer. So it'll go on just fine, really nice ends. So just gonna clean this up a bit. to go into an inch there. 
Okay, I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to find out how to rotate this down a bit, I think. That's kind of in the way. Okay. So just break this nut loose here. And then you can rotate this as you need to, to where we need it. So I think I'm going to leave that right about there, I think. And then I'll put the hose on and then feed it. And then we'll set that to a proper angle and tighten it. Would it be worth going straight up, straight through the middle of all this? Okay, we got this running all the way down to here. I'd like to think they had it running up and over this. I'm not gonna do that. I like this to be big loop. We'll go to the other side and check that out. All right, so looks like if I just hook that in there, that hooks across, well, if that fits there, that's going to push into there unless I rotate it that way. And the only way to really rotate it that way, if I feed it back over where they had it, but that was chafing through. That won't catch anything down there because when this is hooked up, it doesn't come off. You know what? I think... Yeah, that'll work. That looks good. All tightened up now, so we just got to put the cover back on, and that's done for that. And just make sure it doesn't leak in one of these fittings, which it should not. That hose had a hole in it, so okay. <laughs> this thing leaks now it's the fun part but I think we got it and then we got to add oil to this machine because with that leak I think if we dug Rocky Cassidy Butch I'm moving some snow around with this and it was leaking so the this the skid steer definitely needs oil in it so but now it's just to test it but I think we got it fixed so show you guys how to start this and run this stuff all later but uh, I think we're good now okay <laughs> I gotta get a real key for this thing too.
the other thing we'll have to do onto this uh, the backhoe here is I need to make a transport pin. It goes right through this pin here, or with this holder here when it's in use. And when you're on the road, you bring this whole arm up and then you slide the pin through here and it prevents this arm from coming down. This never had um, come with it. So what we'll do is I got a bunch of tie rod ends from a Dodge truck. I'm gonna cut those down and we'll stick it in here. And then we'll get our neighbor there to weld a plate on the end out of like quarter inch or three eighths steel or something like that. Um, because this pin here is also used to knock out these pins, the pins here on the bucket to change it. So to have that is actually um, quite important. So this cylinder here is leaking. Um, just out of here, there's a couple seals in it. We've got to replace those. Probably going to run this this summer and see how long we can go before it actually needs to be done because it's just weeping. It's just sort of like a wet leak, leak on it. Leaves the cylinder a little bit wet when it's sitting. Yeah, this is going to be cheap. We got the parts for this. You see the cat? Frey cat. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we're up to. Off we go. I'll catch y'all later.